Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help, and today we're going to be learning how to do a cool little um, floating cigarette trick here using Final Cut Express. I'll get to that in a second. I want to show you a quick little video here, and this is the final result, and I'm using a little bit of uh, traditional magic with some video magic here, so <clears throat> check this out. Okay, so there you have it. Nice little magic trick. Uh, you might be able to see a little bit. It's not 100% perfect. But uh, so let's go into Final Cut Express here. Okay, so the first track that I recorded was myself actually with no cigarette performing the trick. Okay, so you, you get the idea there. And the second clip was of me actually picking up the cigarette. This is where the traditional part comes in with the uh, monofilament string, aka fishing line. Uh -oh. So there we go. Okay, so you get the idea. So my first track, being me actually performing the trick, is my first track down here. I came in and selected the area to match up with the motions that's going to take place right here, and I dumped that track in here. Okay, so how to create the magic here. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select your overlay frame on the unmute line here, video-wise. Okay, so this is my original track coming in, and you want to make sure that image wireframe is selected. In addition to that, you want to select your crop tool down here. This will allow you to come out to the sides and grab images and resize them. Okay, so now if my this is my second layer of video you can see it says number two so this is the second layer so anyway you get the idea just come in and try to size it down now for this particular little video trick since my hands were up here and the cigarette actually rises and I put my hand up and under the cigarette okay and you see it hover above my hand but also notice that there's no shadow on my hand that's a little giveaway there. Um, Alright, so <clears throat> what I did is I broke my clips into different sections. As you see, as my hands move forward into this area, they would disappear because of the size of this box. So what you want to do is you want to find your endpoint. So my hands are moving towards that area. Okay right there I want to come in and use my razor tool and I split my video right there I came back and selected my crop tool click on the clip see where your hands are now you've created a secondary clip and you can resize this box would start out down here but you see my hands have disappeared so just simply take that box and crop it up so that my hands are out of the way I came down here, created another cut point, moved this box, adjusted it to match the level of my hand, and I repeated this motion again and again and again and again, and you can do it, you know, this is a little more complicated, I guess, um, just trying to match the movements. It's, if you're 
initial composition is good. If my hand had just been a little bit lower, I could have pulled it off very easily, but I didn't, and I didn't feel like going back to film it, so that's what created all this extra work down here of resizing these boxes to match the motion. But you get the basic idea. <clears throat> so, once your production is complete, you can play it through, and you've got your final product. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, and you do have to kind of watch. You'll notice my hand kind of goes above the uh, crop line for, for some of these. Like right there, my hand is a little bit chopped off. So this one could actually be raised up a little bit more. So that would be another edit point. So composition is very critical in this whole project. So just make sure whatever trick it is you're doing. Uh, like my other mirror trick, um, with the little shaving mirror on the box, um, if you watch that one, you'll notice that it there's good separation there so I can pull the trick off pretty easily but once again it's all about composition so <clears throat> there you have it how to create a nice little effect using a little bit of the old a little bit of the new and a MacBook which I love so once again I hope this video helped you guys out if it did post a comment if not Pogue Mahone peace thanks